What's up? Good evening, guys. It's Mike Kalaiko. Uh, let's just get the pleasantries out of the way. I am an independent Sensi consultant, and today, uh, or tonight actually, it's nighttime right now. Uh, since it's the month of October, I wanted to feature some stuff uh, and specifically do a couple of things. So I'm going to do a review on a wax bar, and then I'm also going to talk about some special things happening in the month of October. Tonight's wax bar review is going to be around the campfire, around the campfire. And this one, when I first smelled the sample, I was like, what were they thinking? It is really smoky and it literally, um, it, it literally smells like what it's named around the campfire. So we're gonna talk about that today. And then we're also going to talk about some wax bar cocktails. Yeah, like mix-ups, you know, mix-ins. So one thing, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, of course the Sensi people, the Sensi people know this, is that you could mix, you know, the different wax bar scents together to get some different combinations. So what we're gonna mix tonight is, and we're gonna review it, is we're gonna do around the campfire and then I'm also gonna try out mixing that with the popular jammy time. Yeah, right, really interesting. So I'm gonna heat up the warmers here and I'm gonna give it a whirl. Right now, I already have a little piece of around the campfire warming up here on this um, warmer here. This is the special charity warmer for the fall winter 2020 catalog for Sensi and every catalog season they do a charity warmer to give back because that's something that's very important to Sensi. Now October is breast cancer awareness month so this particular warmer is very very significant for this month because it is a charity warmer that will benefit the National Breast Cancer Foundation. In fact, $9.50 out of each purchase of each of these Hope, Strength, and Love warmers will go to benefit the National Breast Cancer Foundation. That is Sensi's way of giving back, which is something very, very important to Sensi. They are always about giving back every catalog season. The Hope, Strength, and Love Warmer, as you see here, retails in the U.S. for $50 plus, of course, shipping and handling. Without further ado, let's start talking about Around the Campfire. Okay, so as you can see here in the Hope, Strength, and Love Warmer, it's starting to melt down and it has this appropriately ashy gray color. And yeah, you know, okay, I will say this. When I first opened this package right here, let me open it, and I took a whiff, um, it was really strong. If you're Catholic, which I am Catholic, and you go to a Catholic mass and they do the incense, um, you know, when it's the high masses, this is what it smells like when you just catch a whiff off the bar. Um, but interesting enough as it's melting here in the warmer it's coming uh, you know it's coming across a little lighter and it's not as pungent in that smoky way so definitely something that would appeal to a man you know um it's definitely something that would pair well with the leather scents maybe i'm gonna try this with saddle up and maybe one of the other leather ones. But tonight, we are going to pair it with Jammy Time. Now, it's an interesting pairing because Jammy Time, while around the campfire, is a smoky scent, right? With all those smoky notes, and it's very outdoorsy. Contrast that with Jammy Time, which is, you know pretty much like clean pajamas, like laundry, you know, very fresh, very clean. And, um, you know, on the sweet side, I caught a whiff of it. Yeah, it, it has that laundry kind of borderline laundry soap kind of smell. Very popular with my clientele. Um, I personally don't use it as much, so I'm trying to open my mind to it tonight 
and see if I like it together with Around the Campfire. We're gonna see. So, so here we go. Um, I'm again catching a whiff of Around the Campfire and the warmer melting down. It's very smoky, but a light perfumey kind of smoky. And um, now I'm gonna stick in, I'll try one cube. One cube of jammy thyme, and mix that up. See how it goes. I'm gonna give it a while, we'll come back. So while we wait, while we wait for that wax, the jammy time to melt down, I just wanted to like show you my little table display here in my living room. Got the pumpkins going. And also my cutie hoot warmer, hoot spelled W-H-O-O-T. Isn't that beautiful? I love the warmers nowadays, especially at Sensi. They're just so detailed. This is definitely something right up my alley because I am an owl fan. I have a bunch of owl figurines here at my house. And so it's a beautiful warmer, especially for this time of year, autumn, Halloween, fall. Look at that, it just goes well with all my stuff. You see also in the background there, my alabaster warmer and the also the crystal blue uh, warmer, which is I a lot of warmers. While we wait some more, I just wanted to do a quick shout out too to my friend Joanne Matanani. We were doing a podcast actually, and I brought in all the tester scents for her and my other friend Donna. And she actually was the one that kind of put this on the radar for me because I kind of wrote this off. I wrote, I wrote off around the campfire. I just couldn't understand what would anybody want to do with this until I realized later that it could pair well with other scents and kind of turn the more fruity or floral, you know, which kind of makes things a little more feminine, so to say. And you toss this in and you could actually kind of convert those more floral and sweet scents into something a little more masculine, I guess. So that's what we're going to find out tonight. Here's the thing. I'm just going to... Do not try this at home. I'm just gonna really swirl around here to get some of that jammy time mixed in. So around the campfire, I've had enough time to smell it on its own here in the warmer prior to me putting in the jammy time cubes. Um, yeah, it's not something that I would definitely uh, put in a warmer like on its own it's a bit too cigar lounge for me and i guess that might be right up somebody else's alley but i kind of you know i'm a berry person i'm i'm totally feeling right now i'm feeling ber berry scents like especially it's the holidays right now so i am totally feeling be merry uh, Snow-kissed cranberry. I'm totally feeling those. Cranberry garland. Snowberry. Um, yeah. But it's really interesting because I want to kind of pair those berry scents with this too and see how that goes. But right now I'm still waiting for the jammy time. You know, um, the other smells that are, you know, uh, coming through from this right now. It's kind of like a combination of man cologne now. Like, I'm getting flashbacks to my 20s back in the day. And you know, back then, um, we could party until 6 a.m. and you had that smoky smell on you, plus the cologne you put on earlier. Honestly, that's the, <laughs> that's the smell I'm getting right now. It's They should have renamed this um, uh, 5 a.m. after the club. If you want to pair it, actually, they'll, they should rename it with a jammy time here called 5 a.m. after hours, after the club. That's the smell I'm getting right now with the with the jammy time mixed in with the campfire. Holy moly! Yeah, it's kind of giving me a little bit of mystery man. If you are familiar with mystery man, it's also another manly kind of thing. Uh, scent that Sensi does. 
I'm stirring it around. I don't know, this is probably not kosher to do this, but I'm just trying to melt it a little bit more. So yeah, um, they're, the scents are melted together right now. It's, it's definitely a different, a whole different animal now that I've mixed around the campfire with jammy thyme. The whole point with this is do not be afraid to mix your scents. Just try to see what makes sense together. And uh, with this particular one tonight, it was a pairing of something that's more uh, masculine with the around the campfire because it's smoky, right? It's outdoorsy. And then something a little lighter and cleaner with jammy time. Um, I'm gonna try something else, maybe with the berry scent and maybe I'll get like a smoky berry thing. Uh, final thoughts on this uh, little experiment of mine tonight with the scents. Uh, not really feeling it, to be honest with you. I don't know when or where I would want to apply this kind of mood. It's not really my thing. It might be for some people. I don't know. I'm going to get five more minutes and see if it changes my mind. But right now it just smells like uh, smoke and and clean laundry mixed together. So it's like giving me vibes of me coming home from the clubs in my 20s at 5 a.m. I mean, those are good times. Those are good times, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to relive them. I'm 41 now and um, I'm kind of over it that I don't think I need to relive that part of my life. <laughs> again, I want to do a last uh, plug again for this charity warmer, the Hope, Strength and Love beautiful charity warmer benefiting the national breast cancer foundation it is october 2020 right now so it is breast cancer awareness so please if there's any month out of the year where you'd want to give of your give of your heart and donate to something worthy get this beautiful warmer uh, a lot of my customers have purchased it for cancer warriors breast cancer warriors breast cancer survivors uh, who are battling this terrible, terrible disease. So um, please consider that when making your purchases this month. Lastly, if you would like to join my team, I am on uh, online, my PWS. My personal website is mk671.sensi.us. Please, uh, if you are wanting to take the opportunity that Sensi can give you to uh, make some extra money or to build a whole business from selling wax scents and making people happy. It's been so gratifying for me to sell this product because especially when it comes to uh, customers nowadays are looking for creature comforts and um, it just makes me so happy to bring a little happiness to other people's lives through Sensi, through scents, through wax that are meticulously created by all the people over there at Sensi, made in Idaho, USA. I hope you like this review. There'll be more. Tonight we reviewed a mix of Around the Campfire with Jammy Time and talked a little bit about that, plus our breast cancer awareness charity warmer for the fall winter 2020 season guys thanks for listening i hope you liked it and if you do please feel free to subscribe to my channel mk671 tv there'll be more sensi goodies and reviews and other content coming your way in the next few days weeks and months and i hope you like what you see till then See you next time.